Hey everyone, it's Paige. We are back for our YouTube video today. I am playing the Phoenician. We're doing something fun today and I can't wait to tell you about it. So I am hosting a virtual golf tournament, the Play With Paige Golf Tournament with 18 birdies. To join the virtual tournament, you first need to download the 18 birdies app if you don't already have it. Once you're in the app, tap on play, then tournaments and enter the code 2271. When you're ready to play your tournament round, this is very important. You have to go to play, then tournaments, then tap start tournament round. You can compete against me. It doesn't matter where you are, what course you play. We'll be playing against each other in this tournament. So if you think you can beat me, definitely enter. But we have prizes. Of course, we definitely have prizes. So 18 people will be selected randomly to win a $250 gift certificate to the 18 birdie shop. So gotta enter it'll be a lot of fun I always see the comments of people saying that you guys can take me so now is your opportunity to prove it uh, we are like I said at the Phoenician I'm making the turn at nine right now and I'm one under so I'm not playing too bad so we'll see how I finish up the rest of the round and hopefully I post a good score so I make it tough on you guys <laughs> we are at hole 12 which is a par 4 it's an uphill dog leg left longish hole is <laughs> playing straight uphill so i'm just going to take my driver up on the right side draw it slightly and should be good to go so i have 106 left into this pin but it's uphill and the wind is a little bit uh, left to right so I'm gonna take play at like 112 110 hit my uh, like a half pitching wedge is the shot it's not as close as I thought it was <laughs> I thought I stuck it uh, but I, I'm let's just say that I hit it on the hill and it sloped down a little bit uh, but we still have a putt for birdie the greens here at the Phoenician are pretty undulating, but I like that because it's a bit of a challenge. Um, but you just have to make sure you're reading all the greens. And we've talked about green reading a lot, so if you want to check that out, you can check out one of my other videos. But today we're just going to play it through. It's a bit slow up that hill, but we're going to make R4 and we'll move on to the next hole. So this is hole 13. It's a fun par four. It's a short one. It's 297 yards from the tips. So it's a real risk reward. Yeah, you definitely want to go for it, but it's pretty narrow up there. They have a wide fairway, which makes you want to lay up, but they didn't come here to lay up. So we're going to hit driver. So I have a short little wedge shot in to the screen. Again, it's probably not the smart play to go for it, but again, we never lay up. We always go for it. So um, I'm gonna hit more of like a dead-handed shot just to make sure I don't get a lot of spin on it. So when I say dead-handed, I'm really not trying to throw it or turn it or add too much spin on it. It's more of just a, a body turn back, turn through kind of swing. I made my birdie. I'm actually playing pretty well today. It's fun because one, I haven't been playing too much obviously because of the quarantine that's been going on. I just haven't been feeling too safe about it. But also two, I haven't really had the opportunity to play and really keep score for a while. I just kind of play for fun or just hit it around. And so I kind of feel like I have my competitive juices flowing again and I'm playing well today, which is nice, but it's fun to kind of grind over putts and play for real golf because I haven't done that in a while. So, so I, still, I still got it. This is number 17. It's a short par three. One of my favorite holes uh, just because it's so pretty with the water in the front, but it's really gettable as well since it is shorter and especially with that front pin today. 
This is one of the holes that they didn't change in the redesign and I'm really happy because it was one of my favorite holes before and so I'm happy that they kept it and it's a birdie hole. It's a gettable hole. It's a great way to, if you feel like you need a birdie to kind of end your round, this is it. This is where you need to definitely score. So I'm going to hit a 9 iron, but half 9 iron, easy 9 iron. Um, sometimes when you try to hit a full wedge, you put way too much spin on it. So I'm just going to try to keep it easy, controlled shot. This is a shot that a lot of people feel very uncomfortable with. Um, it's more of a short-sided chip shot off of a hard pan high at lie. For me, I would feel comfortable chipping this, but the pros and cons of putting it compared to chipping it. Putting it, you get it on the ground really quick and easy. Chances are you're going to hit it on the green. It'll eliminate the double chip and it's the safer play benefits of chipping it is that if you're putting it you could potentially hit something and have a bad line or it could just get stuck up in the grass it's more unpredictable but you can either chunk it late it the safer play is to putt it but I'm going to chip it but I would recommend putting it because it was a short par three but a par is still fine and we're still good and we got through it hope you guys enjoyed today's course vlog at the Phoenician I had a fantastic time and I really hope you guys sign up for my virtual golf tournament and as a reminder it goes until the end of this month until July 31st so definitely go sign up, download 18 birdies to do so. And I want to see what you guys shoot and how you compare uh, to me. It'll be a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed kind of watching a little bit behind the scenes of my round that I am going to post there. Half of a hole left to complete my round. And that is all for today. I will see you guys next Thursday.